so it's been like a year since I've been through this code base and like with that much time I'm like oh yeah what's this example do so I don't remember but we're gonna explore together and this is cross-site scripting and uh, cross-site scripting let's go look that up and see how it's defined XSS cross-site scripting wiki and cross-site scripting uh, cross-site scripting is a type of computer security vulnerability typically found in web apps XSS enables attackers to inject client-side scripts so JavaScript into web pages viewed by other users a cross-site scripting vulnerability may be used by attackers to bypass access controls such as same origin policy uh, is an important concept in web application under the policy web browser permits scripts contained in a first web page to access data in a second web page but only if both web pages have the same origin and origin is defined as a combination of URI scheme host name and port number this policy prevents a malicious script on one page from obtaining access to sensitive data on another page through that data's document object model right Cross-site scripting carried out on websites count for 84% of all security vulnerabilities in 2007. Bug bounty company HackerOne reported that XSS is still a major threat. XSS affects vary in range from petty nuisance to significant security risk, depending on the sensitivity. I think it'd be fun to watch an XSS video. So we'll see if we can find one. Are you in? So here we have here we have uh, main.go <coughs> and uh, we have template stuff and then a page and we're using text template right not HTTP and so here's a page with a title a heading and input and uh, and then we're going to execute that and uh, and we're just executing it to TPL to standard out and we have index, which is uh, the index page right there. Where do we call index? TPL. So index is, uh, I'm not sure what index is doing there, where that came from. And here we have uh, the TPL. So we're doing our title, our heading, and our input. I think this is the file that gets created, so we're going to get rid of that. Now I'm going to run 013.01. And, uh, and this got in inserted, so it would have ran if it was on a web page. Because, you know, like maybe somebody I asked for text entry and then I display that. And if they enter text and then it gets displayed, right, um, it could run. So that's uh, that one. And then here, oh, I know why that was there. Yes. Because now I can show you just like this. Reveal and finder. Right, it ran the JavaScript. And then here, the only difference is I'm using HTML template instead of text template in the first one. Whoops. Like you could see the lines 24 and 25 or whatever changing, and you could see the imports changing. But that's it. Everything else is the same. All right? So the only difference is I'm using HTML template. And so when I run this one, all right, the danger's escaped. So that's not going to execute now. So that's, you know, HTML template helps you avoid security issues like cross-site scripting. That's the main takeaway.